Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, today we've come to the Brecon Beacons, South Wales, to take on the Penny Fan Horseshoe. Seventh summit of the day. Penny Fan. Absolutely buzzing. It's going to be such a good wild camp. This is our Wild camping spot. Right, show you inside my tent. Clearly. Sorry, rolling. Yeah. Rolling. <laughs> right, so here we are. Penny Fan Sunrise. And the idea is to set up a wild camping spot just the other side of Penny Fan by a really, really nice lake. So we've got tons of new gear to show you today. So we're gonna have some hiking shots first and then we're gonna crack on with the camping. It's absolutely lovely and it's hot. Right, fifth summit of the day, Fanny Big, which is the first big sort of proper peak. But we've done another four on top of this already. We've got eight miles in our legs. The weather's been really good to us. It's really nice and warm. Stop for a Welsh cake. Uh, Wind hasn't been too bad and no rain has been absolutely brilliant. If anything, I didn't need this base layer on. It's just such a nice day. But yeah, it's been really good so far. And next up, we've got Cribbin, Penny Fan, and then Corn D. Right, here we are, Cribbin. It's uh, 795 meters or Bow, I think something like 2,800 feet. So this is the sixth summer of the day now. Clouds just gone in, which is nice because oh, we were getting seriously hot. So this is what we've done so far. So in the background, you see reservoir. And from the reservoir, we went east and then we basically did all of this, coming all around here, back down, back up, back up, right where we are now. So not far to go, done nine and a half miles. Still feeling pretty good actually, to be fair. Um, it's just, the weather's just been absolutely stunning. I can't wait for our wild camp. I cannot wait, it's gonna be brilliant. But first of all, you gotta get over Penny fan. So here we are, made it seventh summit of the day. Penny fan, highest mountain in the Brecon Beacons. And there's no cloud. We've lucked in first thing when we started this. This peak was in the clouds, but not for us. Some days, just everything goes your way. And today is one of those days without a shadow of a doubt. So this is our eighth and final summit of the day, Corn Do, and we can finally see a wild camping spot down there. It looks absolutely awesome, absolutely buzzing. It's going to be such a good wild camp. Right, so we made it. This is our wild camping spot. 
So 12 miles in the legs, done for the day, starving. So I'm gonna get started with some camp cooking. And we're just at the bottom of Corn Doom Penny Fan. And uh, it's just been, oh, it's just been better. We come down to our wild camping spot. There's no wind whatsoever. It's so, so, so still. Right, so I'm gonna start pitching my 2023 Terra Nova Laser Compact AS. So one of the things about this tent is to give you some height at the ends, you've got two single poles. So I'm just gonna put those in first. Now, just gotta put the main single pole through just this like, ultra compact pole set. Just need to finish pegging it out. But this is my spot right below Penny Fan and Corn D. And that's Mark just finishing pitching up his big Agnes Copper Spare one. Right, show you inside my tent and tell you what I've bought with me. So, I've got my Melbeck, I've got a couple of milks, my collapsible cup, I've got my tea, porridge for the morning, my built on protein treats, I've got my electricals bag, my washing bag, I've got my towel, my vlogging kit, my backpack, my sleep system is. Big Agnes Rapid SL sleeping mat, which you all know of. Then I've got my Nature Hike Snowbird down sleeping mat with my Nemo Philo Elite pillow. And then over here, I've got some cold weather gear for tonight. I've got my clothes in a dry bag there. And over here, I've got my fire maple camping stove got my flip-flops and I've got my water filter and my cheapest chips seating pad and that's this it. This is Mark's Big Agnes Copper Spur One tent so it's like an ultralight tent it's actually really quite big so this is Montane backpacking bag that he's got then he's got the Nemo Disco down sleeping bag which is awesome have you got your nemo philo pillow as well yeah it's in there yep that's actually in there and the nemo tensor sleeping mat but i've sat in it and my head's not touching the top it's actually really quite big more of a summer tent but it's an absolute cracker so this is what we've done today. We've done eight summits, 12 miles, six hours, 20 minutes. Average speed of 1.9 miles an hour. Uh, cadence, steps, 25,000. Although Mark does say he's done 30,000. It's my average heart rate. My intensity zones. The number of calories that are burnt. Recovery time bit more data 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 and the ascent so we've done 3700 feet of ascent which is well over a thousand meters so not a bad days hiking right time to go in for a little paddle i'm not going to treat you to wild swimming in my boxer shorts <laughs> i don't think it'll be appreciated but oh god after a long day's hiking oh, it feels good Feels so good. Get out of them hiking boots. Oh, the water is. It's got to be sub. It's got to be sub 10 degrees easy. Oh, God. Think of all the good that is staying for my feet. Right, wine time. <laughs> got the Seed Summit collapsible mug and my GSI wine flask with what's it beef steak club melbeck it's it's as good as treveno look at that oh lovely oh so good as if today couldn't get any better and then you have a big cup of melbeck god 
you just think you're winning at life sometimes. Right, Mark, what you got? Devels. <laughs> Devels. Eight and a half percent of Belgium's <laughs> finest. <laughs> Mark's cooking up on his Soto Windmaster stove. Thermostat cook set combo. Chicken fajita, summit to eight meal. Look at this, the sun's just starting to set on Penny Fan and Condé. Just golden mountains. <laughs> this is. And you've got, unless you've got the world's smallest gas canister. <laughs> <laughs> A 50 gram canister. God, it's got leaves. Look, look at that. Wow, that is that is that a rip off of MSR? <laughs> yeah, it is clearly. Sorry, rolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> when you light it, you have to stand back Did because light it off this? it's an absolute beast. Hang on, whoa, hang on. Is this serious? This is a serious bit of kit. This is serious. Serious. Sugar. This 100 gram canister always I do like this it. though, like the way it's all set yeah. and stuff, it's quite cool, isn't it? Do you want to light it off that? Flipping egg. Hang on, okay. hang on. Is this safe? Oh yeah. Yeah, it probably didn't do my... Uh, that's it, that's alright, I've done that before with mine. Soul hey kids, that's not how to light a uh, stove. Okay, so I've got two eyebrows. <laughs> Nice. You can actually do this without burning your hands. Seriously, look. <laughs> so nice, though, isn't it? This is what oh, B you does. You know what my hands are like. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? See, see what I mean. As soon as the sun goes down. The Today, we yeah. have classic Italian recipe, gnocchi alla Sorrentina. Fresh potato gnocchi, fresh tomato sauce, and a ball of mozzarella. Have faith. Have faith. Well, I'm hoping it's big. I hope it's not just packaging, otherwise, I'm going to be starving. So. Marketing flyer. This isn't quite as good as. It said a ball of mozzarella, not little bits of. little cubes of mozzarella. Burn it though. Oh, no. Right, fresh tomato sauce going in. I'm quite hungry. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's make sure it doesn't slop everywhere. Oh, it smells good. No, I'll just show you quickly. Look, hang on. Look at that. That's hot, isn't it? Who needs a campfire? You just need a fire maple radiant stove. Mozzarella. <laughs> bits, rather than a ball. Let's go in there. Now for the taste test. Mmm. Oh god, that's lovely. Yeah, gnocchi softened up. Mozzarella's melted straight away. The tomato sauce has got some real nice herbs in. That is a winner. Sun is just going down now. The temperature is absolutely plummeted. It's been a really nice day today, but it's gonna be a chilly night, that's for sure. So it's getting late now. About 10, little midnight snack. Brown's Biltong Piri Piri, which is like amazing, absolutely amazing bits of steak. Top, top quality steak. After a bit of, uh, bit of red wine, <laughs> like you can't go wrong. Make sure Biltong is on your backpacking gear list. Just come up. <laughs> See the sunrise. I'm gonna try and get my way over to any fan. Right, campers. Well, it's 25 past five, and I'm making my way up to try and see the sunset. The forecast was missed this morning, 
which it is in the valley, but it's a lot of blue sky around today. So I'm hoping to see proper sunrise. Going to bed about half 10, literally went straight to sleep. And then woke up about four o'clock because I hadn't zipped my sleeping bag all the way up to the top. It's our little spot of our little tents. Absolutely belting wild camping spot. Oh God, amazing. Chuffed to bits with that. Just found it on OS Maps, not through anything else. So let's crack on. I need to get to Corndu up there, but oh, what a morning it's going to be. It's just such a nice part of the day. And look, the whole, the whole valley is in cloud and mist. Wow, this doesn't do justice at all. So, so cool. There we have it, you've got another couple of wild campers there. I wonder if they're waiting for sunrise as well. Right, so I'm on my way to Penny Fan because it's quite clearly the place to be. There's quite a lot of people at the top, but it's gonna be a spectacular sunrise. Right, so here we are, Penny Fan Sunrise. It's spectacular. Some people up there, but not, not too bad. There's more and more people coming as time goes. It's just stunning the views, the 360 views around there. Wow. You just feel like you're on top of the world up here. Especially with all the mist in the valleys. Look. Mark's probably in bed snoring his head off. <laughs> He's missed. Missed this. He said he didn't care. Just wanted a lion. Fair play to him. But yes, just, just, oh, just awesome. And there's a little wild camping spot down there. But there's uh, a lot of people that have come straight from the park. <laughs> A lot of people. There's more people here that have come straight from the pub than the pike tough here. But yeah, wow. Special place. So over here, this is where we started yesterday. And we have done all of this. Absolutely all of this. All 12 miles of it. But, oh, what a trip. Right, that's our camp done, breakfast finished, left no trace, none whatsoever. It's more than can be said for some other people around here. But that is it, that's us done. Back up onto the ridge. It's absolutely roasting already, it's half past eight. Right guys, that's the end of our Penny Fan Horseshoe Wild Camp. It was just stunning, an epic adventure. Wouldn't change any of it. The weather was just so, so good to us. And I don't think I've ever camped with zero wind near a summit. I mean, there's just absolutely nothing there whatsoever. Hey, 
please check out my videos, especially the three days solo in Snowdonia. That was an epic adventure and there's actually some pretty good videos in there too. It's a two-part series there. But take it easy. Hope to see you while camping soon. Cheers.